Got someone very special for you guys to meet. I've just driven to Mackay Airport. Beautiful day here in Mackay. Um, to pick up my beautiful girlfriend, Kalia. Hello. You know where we're going? Where? <laughs> <laughs> we're going on a crazy adventure around the Whit Sundays over the next few days. Hope you enjoy. Check it out. Just talking about our different vlogs because um, Carly is going to start a vlog soon too, and it's going to be really contrasting to mine. Saying how whoever's got the most popular vlog, which will probably be her, uh-huh. can help the other one out because it would suck if one of us was like super successful and the other one like sucked. So check out my boyfriend's vlog. It's a bit crap. And <laughs> you, you do that, she's going to be way more famous. We pulled into Ellie Beach right on sunset and it was just a beautiful night. Carly was super excited because she'd never been to Ellie Beach before so I gave her a bit of a look around town and checked out some of the sites and um, I guess one of the things about being a travelling musician is you know you don't get to spend a whole lot of home time with your partner so uh, we really appreciate the time we get together when we're, when we're together. And then there's the crazy side to Early Beach. Now, all the locals sort of say that Early Beach is like Las Vegas, as in, you know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. I guess the thing in Early is you don't really remember so much the next day, so I think it cancels it, itself out. But uh, yeah, we had a ball and ended up going to uh, Magnums and then KC's and checking out some live music and eating some food and chilling out. And then we ended up at Beaches for the uh, Pirate Beer Pong Championships and started out uh, in the lower ranks and over the night worked our way up the ranks and ended up getting to the grand final. And uh, we actually ended up winning the grand final with uh, Carly as a winning shot, so that was pretty awesome. Had a ball and then ended up uh, going out to Paddy Shenanigans to sort of dance the night away to some of the uh, awesome local musicians. And uh, yeah, what a night. Well, needless to say, the next day started out a little bit slower than we'd anticipated. But uh, we hit the road and left Ellie Beach pretty early and headed towards Cape Gloucester. And Cape Gloucester is one of my favourite locations on the whole Australian tour. It's um, this beautiful little spot, you kind of weave your way up this dirt track along the ocean for um, about 10 or 15 minutes and yeah, it's a bit of a bumpy ride but you end up coming to this beautiful little hideaway. and uh, that's what we call Cape Gloucester Resort and uh, it's owned by this beautiful little family and um, yeah, just the most stunning location. So we've just come out of our room in Cape Gloucester this morning and um, we've got a little friend that's hanging out here, so... It's so awesome, I've had quite a few experiences out here um, getting right up and close to um, kookaburras around the Sundays. They seem really used to humans, they're not very shy at all. So cool. Not a bad way to start the day. Uh, this one's a bit more like a guitar, so uh, if you ever wonder what a shovel is supposed to sound like, I'm pretty sure this is it.
So we're here with uh, Callum from uh, Cape Gloucester Resort. Hey guys. Just brought out this beautiful meal for us. Check it out. What have we got here, bro? So we've got some red Congo potatoes, roasted in a tomato napoli sauce, baby mixed coloured beetroots, roasted with balsamic and orange, with a balsamic glaze. It smells so good, man. <laughs> it smells insane. A Malaysian satay stir fried veg with coconut cream, some stir fried broccolini, asparagus with lemon and toasted sesame seeds. Then we've got some baby turnips that have been roasted in sumac. And underneath them, there's some um, truffle and chickpea things. And then some baby roast carrots with a um, adobo and mayonnaise. So That's enjoy. Sounds incredible, bro. Thank you. Enjoy. Oh, thank you so much, bro. Oh, awesome. Really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. Guys. So I reckon that's the trick, is to always ask the good chefs what they want to make. Because we didn't order this. This wasn't on the menu. Um, we, I've met Callum before. He's an amazing chef. And I just said, can you, um, can you whip up something a little... You know, a little special vegetarian dish for us, something that's not on the menu, and that's what we got. Amazing. What do you reckon, mate? Just the texture of everything, all this beautiful whole food that we have here in front of us is... Mmm, it has the flavours. Mm. Like, every vegetable it's has like got its layers own sauce. layers upon layers upon <laughs> layers of flavour that's just still popping in my mouth. Mm. so much for tuning in everyone and make sure you like my channel so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming adventures in the next episode i'm going to take you guys on a tour around hamilton island which is one of uh, the whitsunday islands where i may or may not have run into the barge as i was loading my van on it um anyway i'll be uh, playing a few shows over there and causing trouble on golf buggies and getting on a few yachts as well as uh, introducing you guys to some really cool people and showing you all some of my most favorite spots also, if you haven't checked out episode one yet uh, with the bungee jumping adventure and the crazy Red Bull guy, make sure you check it out. And a massive thank you to everyone that has been supporting on the Patreon page and supporting my dreams of touring by yacht and how it's all going to unfold uh, right in front of your eyes, literally. I'll uh, see you all next time and much love to you all.